What's up, Fab TV fans? I'm here with Dominique Milano. He's the director of American Badass, a retrospective for uh, Michael Madsen, or a Madsen 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 retrospective. And uh, <laughs> we're here. It's your. They're showing your movie here tonight, and I'm here with Dominic. And uh, the, how did how did you convince them to do a, a, a thing well, about him? Well, let me tell you something first. This is such an honor to be here. This is Quentin Tarantino Theater, and uh, to be here is actually really an honor. And uh, how did we get to that? It's a really long story, but uh, I did a photo shoot with Michael five, six years ago, and uh, we started talking, and he had so many great stories. And I told him, hey, Michael, would you like to do a documentary? And, you know, I was expecting no, you know, I just said it like that. And he says, are you serious? I say, yeah, I think you deserve a documentary. You know, you're, you're an iconic actor, and a lot of people would love to know more about you because we all know you about... Uh, your roles that you did, Reservoir Dog and, uh, you know, Pulp Fiction, all that, not Pulp Fiction, sorry, uh, the other one that he did, Kill Bill. And, uh, you know, we wanted to know more about him. And I said, would you like to open up and do a doc? And he said, yes. So at that point, we started. You know what? You hit the title perfect, American Badass. How did you come up with that title? <laughs> well, this is funny because that was a friend of Chicago, a Chicago friend of mine. That Sure, thank you. So uh, a guy in Chicago came up and said, hey, uh, you have a title for the documentary. I was about to call it an American icon. And he goes, no, 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 no. Mm. American icon, that's not the title you want. You want American badass. And I said, wait a second, it's a little bit too strong. Badass, I mean, it's like, you know, so no, he's a badass. That's what it is. He cuts people here in a film. He beats people up left and right. He's a badass. So we kept the badass title and, uh, and it worked out. I guess people loved it. It's a perfect title. Now tell me two short version reasons, like uh, stories you heard of Michael Madsen, what made you, man, there needs to be a movie about him. Oh, well, the first thing that uh, for me deserved uh, the documentary was the scene in Reservoir Dog. Because as you see in a dog, it's all improvised. He did the dance at the last second. He didn't think about it. He just did it spontaneously. And for me, when you talk about Michael Madsen, you talk about that scene. But then there is Donny Brasco, when he actually did a really good job playing Sonny Black. So it was those two movies that, that I've sought as a filmmaker that it would be the, the subject to use to do a documentary and, and start from there. And that's how we pretty much calibrated the whole storyline. Is Michael Madsen underrated? Absolutely. He's very underrated because... Well, first of all, uh, for some reason, he, he's always put into those roles that's badass and killing people. And, but Michael Madsen is a very funny guy. You put Michael Madsen in a comedy, you'll get a really good result. Unfortunately, I don't think that Hollywood put him in those kind of roles. Because when we're together, or we're rehearsing for stuff, or we prepare documentary, we're laughing like crazy. So I don't understand why, but this is what he sells, and that's what... He decided that's what the, the, the business decided him to do. After, so when everyone sees your film, what's going to be like the takeaway? When, after people watch the film, what do you want people to think about Michael Madsen? I think once they watch the documentary, I want them to have a different view of him. His more humane view and obviously also well-documented issues that he had in his regular life. We all know, and I'm not going to say it here, it's in the dark anyway, but I want people to see an overall picture of him and not only just the parts that he does in the film, cutting ears and doing all that stuff. Right. That was my main goal doing this. And me and my team, we did this together. It's not, a, it's not my film. It's a, it's a, a, you say, a cooperation of multiple people. And the way we wanted to do this, we wanted to be the, the most realistic possible. We didn't want to do a documentary making him look so good and so big. We want to make something really honest. And I think we accomplished that. You're a Frenchman, right? Yes. So why are you a 49ers fan? Well, I grew up uh, watching the 49ers on Monday night in Paris. We had a channel called Canal Plus, and they were showing the 49ers all the time. <laughs> so I ended up liking that team. And so Joe Montana, and of, I know all their players. <laughs> so Joe Montana, Steve Young, <laughs> Garoppolo, yes. and yes, now yes, uh, Trey yes. Young, and yes. now... You know, and uh, Coach Shanahan's doing a great job. And Yes, yes. Uh, we're back because for about... I would say 12 years we were completely off the radar we were finishing 3 and 13 or 2 and 14 
But no. last year, but last year the 49ers almost beat the Rams if, if, if you know, when Garoppolo was scrambling and he tossed that little pass and that one guy could have maybe caught it. Listen, I'm uh, my son plays, so I kind of know the game a little bit. I think the pass rush of the Rams were too strong for the line of the 49ers. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's hey, they made to the Super Bowl what three years ago, two years ago, yeah. and now the the conference championship. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And Dominic, you're a cool director, man. You're a cool <laughs> director. You. And uh, anyway, Dominic Milano, uh, you know the Michael Madsen retrospective, American badass. Go see it. I'm going to see it. This is a, this is your premiere night. Yeah. No, actually, yeah, we can call it a premiere. Oh, well, yeah. it's like a premiere. It's, yeah, it's it, like a, it's any, like a, any night's a premiere a spe- night. A special little screening for Tarant- uh, Michael's friends and fans and Tarantino's fans too. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Great talking to you, bro. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. See you inside. All right. Welcome to Fab TV. Look at Hollywood's latest. See all the red carpets dressed to a T. Yeah, you know me. It's all free.